Good morning, everyone. Do you hear that? Sweet succulent silence. Welcome to this beautiful, silent, sunny Saturday. Today's Saturday. And we have confirmed that drilling stops on weekends, which is a delight. Normally we kind of take the weekend to chill a little bit because the weeks are so packed currently, but we gotta do the opposite now. We're gonna try and do all our filming for the next week, this weekend, <laughs> um, to avoid the drilling. What a beautiful day. The sun is out. Just gorgeous, waking up to gorgeous sunlight. Um, yes, so good day, good morning to you. This morning, guess what came back in stock? Oh! <laughs> Naka Vital Greens is back, baby. Oh man, it was out of stock for a while. I haven't been taking this and I have noticed a difference, a not good difference in my Bawayel. <laughs> so happy she's back in my life and now I can go back to taking my green shot of bleh every morning. <laughs> Do you want to knock all your socks off or did you? I already did. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Beauty. Meryl's having her zoomies right now. She's already eaten breakfast. And normally, like, if anyone has a cat, you know what I'm talking about with the zoomies. She uh, she just like runs up and down the stairs and then attacks the rug and just howls to herself. It's hilarious. So she went upstairs right now and I imagine that she'll make her way down. Okay, I got her running back down the stairs, but you guys, we've never successfully been able to get her zoomies. Oh, she's so funny, but she always does it so quickly and it's like never been when we've been recording. So someday maybe we'll be able to get her zoomies, but for now, that was that was what we got, her running down the stairs. <laughs> Any who's in, this morning's gonna be pretty usual. Gonna do a nice workout. I think I'm actually gonna eat a full breakfast beforehand though. I'm really hungry. So I just, you know, when I wake up in the morning, see how I'm feeling. Sometimes I eat a full breakfast before workout, sometimes I don't. So I'm probably just gonna have like a little eggs and toast moment. Finish my coffee, respond to the comments from last night's video, and then do a workout. Today's a whole hair wash day. We're gonna do the full shebang. And we've got a really busy filming day ahead of us. So, so happy it's sunny. Ah! Okay, let's eat breakfast and see how the day unfolds. Happy day, welcome to another vlog. Fam family. <laughs> For breakfast, I've just done a little avocado toast with a little Parmesan egg moment on top and then dirty eggs. All right, fam, I'm in workout gear. This is new Gymshark. Look at this fun, fun color. I love, love these shorts. They're like the Vital Seamless shorts, but their Vital Seamless shorts are like quite thick. These ones are kind of thin, which makes them a little bit more see-through. <laughs> if you're a sweaty gal, it's nice to have the thin layers. And then, yeah, cute little sports bra and this little tank all to match. Thank you so much, Gymshark. I love this little fit. I don't know what I want to do for a workout. I think I'm just going to probably do a, a relatively quick kettlebell maybe. I think, yeah, Heather Robertson has like a 20 minute one. That's really nice. So I'm going to do that. And then I want to do a half hour Peloton because <laughs> it's been a, it's been a few days since I've done a Peloton. So I want to kind of prioritize that this morning. So yeah, do a quick little kettlebell workout, hop on the Peloton and that'll be the workout for the day. <laughs> Here's a protein powder update. I know a lot of you are invested in the protein powder attempts. Listen, I bought the plant protein. I couldn't do it. It was super gritty. I just, you know what? The isolate, the whey isolate, it doesn't hurt my stomach. I feel like I was getting really bad stomach aches when I first started taking protein just because I wasn't used 
to taking so much protein. Like I was like farting so much. It was crazy. I really like the taste of the isolate, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. I bought a smaller bag though. I got the My Protein Chocolate Smooth. That's my favorite. But I also got the vanilla one to try, the isolate vanilla. So maybe I'll do, yeah, let's do vanilla today actually. I like the chocolate smooth when I blend up my coffee, but I'm gonna try the vanilla in like my proper smoothie today. So let's let's do that. So in a cup, I'm gonna do mixed berries. I like doing like the, what do you call it? Like the wild berry mix, field berry. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, just the one without strawberries or cherries. I feel like it's very good for you. I'm gonna do, then spinach, as much spinach as I can shove in here. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Then let's do a scoop of the vanilla. Mmm, it smells really nice. And then some almond milk. Mmm, nice. It's just different. It's different with the vanilla. It's just more vanilla-y than my usual chocolate. I like it though, it's nice. Nice change. Mm. I'll still totally use the chocolate smooth when I'm blending up my coffee, but this is this is a nice option. I'm gonna head upstairs and shower. Ta-da! <laughs> I have showered. I did a nice little half blow dry for my hair, and I'm just gonna let the rest air dry while we get ready for this lovely day of filming. So if I'm leaving it, I'll either do the buns, like the, the little space buns are more so what I do when I'm tanning, just to make sure that my hair is out of the way, but otherwise I just tuck my hair behind so it gets a nice little wave that's framing my face, and then I'll usually just let it be. I did my skincare, the huge, gonna put my jewelry on. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Nashi Blossom. Angelic, fruity, fresh, stunning. Oh my God, I have to show you guys this. I mentioned that I was <laughs> trying to use up the rest of my resveratrol BE and I fully like cut it open last night to get the last licks of it. RIP, she's officially gone. Resveratrol BE, you are so loved. I'm gonna brush my teeth, put my trays back in and let's go upstairs and do some makeup. That wasn't a full word, makeup, makeup. Upstairs. Let's do some makeup, y'all. This looks very deja vu for the last vlog, huh? This little headband and then also a gray t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling for makeup right now. I have a few videos to film, so I'm probably not gonna do anything too crazy, but it's always nice to show you guys what I'm putting on my face, regardless of what's happening. So let's just, let's just do that. I'm feeling really tired from that workout. You guys, you guys know the feeling sometimes? Like I feel really invigorated from a workout and sometimes I'm like, oh, that was tiring. I'm tired from that. That's, that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling pretty low. I might need, I might need another coffee to get me through. Okay, I really need to make a decision here, sorry. Mm. What to do, what to do. Mm. Okay. So for a base, oh my God, I haven't used the Auric Glow Lust in a hot minute. This is the shade Selenite. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that glow lust, stunning. All right, I can't, I can't deal with it. My hair is just dangling into the stickiness of my face and it just drives me crazy. The Auric Glow Lust, I'm just blending it in. And it has given a nice juicy glow to the skin. Stunning, let's do some brows. i use my little scoopula here. Okay, five years later, the brows are on. I'm gonna use the KBD Beauty Good Apple Foundation again. This vlog will be like a second wear test for it. <laughs> and I'm just dipping my beauty blender right into it. And I'm just gonna go, oh yeah. I'm just gonna take that and just apply it all over and down my neck too. So yeah, we can pretty much just do like a second wear test today, trying it with some different base products and see how it wears again. The coverage is wild. The coverage is wild for how natural it looks on the skin. It's just like, whoop. I'm still, I'm still gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Concealer. I'm gonna put the tiniest amounts just to brighten up the under eye. And just right there. 
I'm really on this NARS bronzing cream train. So I'm just gonna use that to bronze and contour. I've taken my brushes to wash downstairs. So I'm not using my usual Smith 157 brush, but this is the Refer 04 brush, what I normally use for blush. And it works just fine. Okay, so for blush, I was using the Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love Lip Tints in the new makeup review, and I wanted to try it for the blush. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared, but I'm gonna use this. So this is the shade Petal Pink. I don't know how much to use. Like, it was pretty sheer, so I feel like it'll be okay. Yeah, well, very sheer. It just looks so dark when you put it on, and then it blends out to nothing. <laughs> I'll try building it up. I'll let that settle and do the other side and then I'll try building up another layer after. Okay, I was definitely able to build up the color, but it's still very, very faint. It's very natural. If you guys like a much more natural, lighter tinted blush, like this is gonna be perfect for you. Um, I'm glad I was able to build it up because at first I was like, oh no, I need something more pigmented. But I I like it and I really like this color. I just realized that yet again, yet again, I forgot to put the bronzer on my nose. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Oh, that was a lot. Whoops. I just take my beauty sponge and just put it back onto it and blend it out a little bit more to tone down the the lines <laughs> all right let's use some powder charlotte tilbury airbrush ball is finished i wonder when it's gonna be used up like when this is gonna crack i'm honestly impressed at how much this one spot of hitting pan has lasted like it hasn't moved from that <laughs> very impressed and i am happy to continue living my life with this beautiful powder i'm gonna spritz some benefit professional spray I'm gonna take my Victoria Beckham O2 lip definer. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some of that petal pink lip tint onto my lips, or lip and cheek tint, sorry. The same one we used as the blush. I'm gonna put it on my lips. Oh, I love this color. When you first apply it, you kind of don't see much. And then as it sits there, it gets a little bit deeper. Kind of cool. And what's nice is it just feels like you're wearing nothing. So you're putting like such a nice tint on the lips, but you don't feel it. Like it's just there. I like that. I feel like I'm just bopping around my face so randomly right now. I'm gonna take my Lila B bronzer with an eyeshadow brush and just blend that onto the lids. And onto the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the Vive Eye Wand in Mahogany with my Refer 02 brush and just use this to intensify the lash line a little bit. And it's kind of nice because this one has those purpley tones in it, which I think will go really well with the tones in this lip and cheek tint. There we go, just a little bit of extra definition on the lash line. But Beauty Upswing Mascara, of course. Then to finish off, I'm gonna take MAC Whisper of Guilt and just use that to highlight the tops of the cheekbones here, top of the nose, and then I'll do a little bit boop, 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 just to finish off the skin. And that's the finished makeup. I'm gonna take my hair out. I hope I don't have a kink from that ponytail. <laughs> Sorry, my hair is just like flying into my mouth. I'm like, I'm just losing it right now. I don't know what. Woo! But any who's in, guys, that's the makeup look. This is like a very typical everyday filming look for me, and I'm excited to keep seeing how this good apple foundation wears. But I wanted to show you guys a little haul actually before I get started because I do want to like put these away into the closet and I love to keep you updated for the most part on my purchases. And I had a I had a moment. This is a this is an expensive haul that I'm about to show you guys. So if you don't like it when I talk about expensive things, then now's your time to pause or skip. <laughs> but yeah, I had a I had a little moment. Um, Matches Fashion is a website that I love for 
you know, when you're looking for higher end brands, they have a lot of designer brands too, but it's kind of like a net-a-porter, net porter but they have amazing shipping to Canada. Their, um, their whole policy, like I don't know how they do it, but if the item originates from the EU, then they don't charge you duties on that and it reflects that at checkout. And then if you have to make any returns, it's free returns, which is so nice. So if you're spending more money on a product or when you're shopping in Canada, like sometimes it's so hard to justify some purchases when you know that you're gonna have to pay duties and then if it doesn't work out and you return it, there are ways that you can get your duties refunded, but it's such a hassle. I just love it when a department store or a wholesaler like Matches Fashion just like takes care of it and they just have it set up. They have such an excellent shipping policy to Canada. So I have very much been enjoying my shopping experience on there. Not an ad, but it could be. Matches, hello, I love you, and I am here, ready and waiting. Anyway, they had, uh, recently, they had a 30% off, like, private sale thing for their members. I don't know how it worked, but I got 30% off fully, like, 30% off of the purchase. So I got the email, and it was like, 30% off. I was like, no way. It was only on certain brands. Uh, I think they pretty much just excluded, like, the higher, like, luxe designer goods, like the Burberry's and the Gucci's, but everything else was 30% off, and so... I went through my wish list and picked some things up and wanted to show you guys what I bought because I'm really excited about these right here. It is spendy, don't you dare. I, in the comments, it drives me crazy when people like add up how much I spent. Don't do that. Don't, save your time. Spend your time doing something other than reminding me how much money has been put on my credit card. Okay. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I bought. So first thing, this was very much a Jen Atkin inspired purchase because I love it. Jen Atkin and Rosie Huntington Whiteley. They're two people I follow and love and they always post their like outfits of the week in little Instagram galleries and I just love that. I get so much outfit inspo and I just, I, I love Jen Atkin, she's amazing. And she's always posting about this brand Wardrobe NYC and it is not cheap, it is definitely <laughs> up there in price for sure. And I'd had my eye on this blazer for so long and I just love the outfit she puts together from Wardrobe NYC. So uh, I picked up this blazer. It's so beautiful. It's a big boxy blazer and it's kind of like a really, really small, fine houndstooth. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. It's like the quality is just exceptional. So this is the Wardrobe NYC blazer. I wonder if you guys will be able to see the whole thing. From here. How does it look with this? Oh, it even looks cute with this. Hold on. Here is the blazer. This is a very odd angle for the camera. <laughs> the angle is probably going to be so skewed, but here's the blazer. I did get it in a more oversized fit because that's just how I like my clothing to fit. And I just, I think it's so fabulous. It's got really pronounced shoulder pads here. And I just think it's so great. I haven't rolled it up yet, but the inside is black, which I think looks, oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, I just don't want to ruin it. It's like fresh crinkle right now. So that's the blazer. It's one of those pieces that I think will just go with so many outfits and I love me a good blazer, even though we're not going anywhere where I can wear a blazer, but I'm preparing for when I'm leaving the house again. Just really getting the staples in there and setting up the outfits. So that is the blazer, guys, what do you think? The next couple pieces I'm not gonna put on because I just put a full face of makeup on and I will absolutely smear it everywhere, but the next piece. <gasps> okay, first of all, this was like already on sale and it was the 30% off on the sale, which was amazing. It's from this brand. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's A-G, but it's what? <laughs> A-J, A-J-E. And it's this beautiful linen blend uh, balloon sleeve blouse. It's just got these really, really big puffy balloon sleeves with the nice tight detail here. Look at the button. The button detail on this is so gorgeous. And I just, I'm such a sucker for any, any button up shirt really. And I thought this was so beautiful. It just looked so elegant and I just loved, loved, loved the balloon sleeve detail. And I just couldn't resist because it was so on sale. I think it ended up being like 70% off in total. And I was like, yes, yes. Adding that to my wardrobe. Thank you so much. So the next two pieces were actually turtlenecks. <laughs> It does seem like an odd time to be buying turtlenecks, but I've been really wanting to, you know, add color into my wardrobe. And I just saw these and I was like, well, I love turtlenecks regardless. I love blazers and getting some colorful, nice little turtlenecks here, I feel like would be a really great, very wearable way to spice up color in my wardrobe. Like even one of these colors with the blazer, with my black blazer, anything. Black might be a little bumblebee. 
but you get what I'm putting down. I just thought these were great. It's from this brand called Dodo Bar Ore. The quality is really, really beautiful. I have my blue Ronnie Kobo bodysuit that is this same like ribbed, really nice, thick quality material. It's just beautiful. And I was so drawn to this bright yellow. Like, have you ever seen anything like this in my wardrobe? No. <laughs> it's like bright neon yellow. I am absolutely obsessed and these were pretty spendy for what it is absolutely so i hope that these will be pieces that i have for life you know they're just they're just stunning so i got the yellow and i also got the pink one and i'm gonna fold these up that's why they're not like on the hanger i'm gonna fold them up and put them in the wardrobe but i was very excited to have some spicy color added to the wardrobe i thought those were so beautiful so those were the the tops i got i got a pair of shoes I was unfamiliar with this whole thing. It's like an extension of Birkenstock. I've never had Birkenstocks, by the way, because I always thought they were unwearable for me with my crinkle toes. But because I love my Fendi slides so much and I wear them all summer long, I was like, you know what? I just really love that style and Birkenstock is literally that style. So let's get a pair. I saw that they had a white pair. These were also 30% off. And this is 1774 Birkenstock. So I feel like it's their Lux line from Birkenstock. Anyway, these are the Arizona Avant Garde in premium white. Oh, look at how beautiful these are. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. So it's all leather and it's all white. And they just, I mean, Dan, my darling fiance, lives in his Birkenstocks. And every time I see him wearing them, I'm like, God, they just look so comfortable. I know it's gonna be tough to break them in, but I'm so excited for that like molded to your feet feeling. And yeah, I just, I have my Fendi slides that are kind of like a mix of dark brown and light brown and they go with absolutely everything. I thought it would be fun to get like a nice fresh white pair for the summertime. Once the weather starts getting nicer, I know I'm gonna be living in these. So those are the pair of shoes I picked up and that's everything I picked up in the matches fashion sale there. I love a good sale. I took advantage of the 30% off and I feel like I added some really beautiful good quality pieces into the wardrobe yes it was spendy and i am thrilled about it i wanted to also just because we're talking about spendy things guys and also this video is going live on mother's day so first of all happy mother's day to all the mamas out there and i know for some people it can be a tough time so sending love to everyone no matter what but if you guys follow me on instagram you would have seen that this this last week I got a really beautiful gift from Fendi and my mom did as well. They actually gifted both my mom and I um, a baguette bag in celebration of Mother's Day and my post already went live earlier in the week. It wasn't an ad, it wasn't sponsored or anything, but I mean, they gave us bags, so like, yeah. <laughs> And I wanted to show you guys the bags because they're just so beautiful and I couldn't believe it. I like screamed. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was like, why, why? <laughs> I literally said to Vanessa, I'm like, what's the catch? Why are they sending us this bag? It's so nice. It's such a beautiful, luxurious gift. And my mom was like in disbelief too. She's like, holy moly, that bag's worth more than my entire closet. <laughs> My mom's so sweet, bless her. Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys because obviously it's gonna be a piece that's gonna be living in my wardrobe and being worn. So first of all, Fendi, thank you so much. My mom and I are both completely speechless. It was such a beautiful gift. And for those of you who left lovely comments on that photo gallery that we posted, thank you so much, it was really fun. I wanted to show you guys because it is an update to my wardrobe. So here's the beautiful box. My mom is actually gonna be getting this box. And a lot of you were asking what bag I was keeping and which one was going to my mom and I realized I didn't actually say. So this is the larger baguette that is actually going to my mama. This is gonna be, ugh, it's just such a special, beautiful piece. Like look at the details on this lace here. It's patent leather and it also has a large shoulder strap that you can attach to it and it's just divine. It's so beautiful. I told my mom, I was like, you can wear this to our wedding <laughs> or our court, court date and dinner elopement. I thought that was so special. This is something that you just like keep as an heirloom, right? So I was like, mom, you're eventually gonna give this back to me technically. <laughs> oh, oh. Kidding, anyway. It's so beautiful. What a special, special piece. So this is going to my mama. And then I am keeping the smaller baguette. Oh, it's the cutest little thing. Oh my God, it has the long chain strap. And then it's got this shorter strap here, the, the top handle and just this sweet, sweet little bag. It's kind of like an off-white. It's like a creamy white with the gold hardware. You know I'm a sucker for gold. So this is the smaller baguette. 
the new beauty, the absolute beauty added to my bag collection. So that is new in this week. Holy, who are we talking about a bag gifted from Fendi? I literally can't believe it. <laughs> I just wanted to share that. It was just, it was so special and so beautiful and you will definitely be seeing more of that bag on my feed and in photos and whatnot. So thank you so much, Fendi. I feel so lucky, I'm so grateful. And I, I literally, I have no words because I don't even know what to say. I'm like, this is so, so nice. Thank you, thank you everyone. My mind's blown, my mom's mind's blown. And uh, yeah, that was a fun week. Fun week in clothes, for sure. So I'm gonna put these away and then I'm gonna leave you for a few hours. I'm gonna go film. I need to have a really productive afternoon of filming. And, uh, and taking advantage of this no drilling silence. So I'm gonna go film and I'll see you then. <laughs> Good evening, friends. Many hours of filming and editing later. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. <laughs> oh, it's been such a long day, but it's been really productive, which is great. So sorry, I haven't checked in with you. You didn't miss much. I've eaten Frosted Flakes. I just wanted to show you again that every time I sit in this chair, Meryl, meows at me until I pick her up. Meryl? I just don't understand why she won't jump up. Why won't you just jump up? I tried like lifting her paws up and like putting it on the motion of seeing my leg up here and she just, she just won't. It's so funny, but every time, every time she sits and meows and meows and meows until I pick her up. So Meryl, is this what you want? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. What was that? <laughs> yes, child. Mm hmm Tell me about it. How's your day? Well, it's good. Oh yeah, get cozy. You like that? Mm-hmm. And she'll just do this for like 20 minutes and then get bored and run away and then meow at me again 20 minutes later. <laughs> You're so weird, ew, that's so much drool. Ew. Your drool makes mommy itch. Stairs, so I'm not using, so I'm not using, so I'm not using, All right, pals and gals. Honestly, I thought I'd have more to report on this evening. I thought we'd <laughs> uh, maybe do something a little bit more interesting, but today was just a good productive day, which is what I hoped for, for this beautiful, silent, no drilling day. So I'm just about to upload tonight's video. I would love it, love it if next week we could get past this late upload. God, I'm so tired. So hopefully you'll be seeing this face earlier next week, we'll see. <laughs> and Dan actually just made us a lovely little nighttime tea. He's winding down with his Xbox, but he very kindly made me a tea to have our wine down with. So gonna call it a night, folks. Thanks for being here and watching this vlog and coming around with me today. I hope that you are having a beautiful day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all tomorrow for a new Everyday Me video. Bye!